everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie, and today I'm going to be doing my March wrap up and my April TBR. So, in the month of March, I had a pretty good reading month. I only read two books, but both of them were absolutely fantastic, and I love them both. And in the month of April, I have a pretty ambitious TBR, even though April is going to be like a crazy busy month for me. Um, but I'm going to just jump right in and get started. So, like I said, I loved both of the books I read in the month of March. The first book I read in the month of March was Revenants the Odyssey Home by Scott Kaufman. This was sent to me for a review by the author, so thank you so, so much to Scott for sending me this. This is a young adult historical fiction slash retelling slash kind of coming of age story that follows her main character, Betsy. At the beginning of this book, she has just lost her brother in the uh, Vietnam War, and she starts working at a VA hospital, which cares for wounded veterans, and while she's there, she meets a young or a patient that has kind of been forgotten. He's locked up in his own separate room, and nobody really knows who he is. He is extremely disfigured from a previous war, and throughout the entire book, Betsy and her brother Bartholomew are trying to figure out who this man really was so they can get back him back to home to his family where he belongs uh, still alive. So I didn't get... I ended up giving this book a 4 out of 5 stars. I thought it was a fantastic read. It was a very heartwarming, very touching story that if you guys really like kind of uh, historical fictions that focus more on like the Vietnam War or around that time period, you probably would really like this book. And the other book I read in the month of April, uh, March, excuse me, was In Real Life by Joey Graceffa. This is his autobiography. Joey Graceffa is a YouTuber here on YouTube. I met him back in October. If you guys have seen that video, I'll have a link down below if you guys are interested in watching it. Yeah, when his other book, Children of Eden, was released, and I really wanted to read this book first before I got to Children of Eden, and I really enjoyed it. I was able to relate a lot to what he went through growing up, so I ended up giving this book a 5 out of 5 stars. And that's everything I read in the month of March, so and in the month of April, I have a total of 7 books on my TBR, and like I said, this is a pretty ambitious uh, TBR for this month because school is going to be wrapping up in May, and I'm going to be having to do a lot of studying for finals this month, so I'm hoping to get to at least three or four of these books this month. Hopefully I'll get to at least of them, maybe five. Well, we'll see. So the first book I'm currently reading is The Valiant by Leslie Livingston. This is the Peru's Utopia Book Club book book of the month of the month of March. I actually did start reading it in March, and I'm about halfway through it right now. I'm not the biggest fan of this book. I don't know if I'm just not in the mood for fantasy or why I just I have not been able to get into it but I'm still going to continue on with it and maybe it will get better for me as the book progresses. This is a like I said a historical fiction and fantasy uh, book that focuses on my, our main character Fallon and she is a Celtic princess and she is born and raised in uh, the Roman time period during the Roman Empire. So when she was younger her uh, the her sister was killed by Julius Caesar, and from that point on, her that has been her sworn enemy. Julius Caesar is the person she hates the most in the world. When she gets older, she is captured and sent to a uh, kind of boarding school type of situation that is run by Julius Caesar, where she is trained to become a gladiator. So that is really it's a really interesting premise. So far, like I said, I'm not too sure if I like it or not, but I will see as the story progresses. The next book on my TBR is something, it's a sequel to a book I read back in February, and that is The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan. This is the second book in the uh, the Heroes of Olympus series, which is a series, uh, spin-off series to Percy Jackson, which I read last year. If you guys are wondering why it's covered in duct tape, I'm borrowing this from my cousin because I only own one Rick Riordan book. Um, and she is had lost the dust jackets to pretty much all the books, and she just put the duct tape on it to protect it, so that is why it has the duct tape on it. Um, like I said, this is the sequel to The Lost Hero, which is the first book, which I really enjoyed when I read it back in February, so I'm hoping to get to this probably after I read The uh, Valiant, if not soon after. <laughs> The next book I have planned to read on my TBR is something that's been on my TBR for months now, and that book is Allegiant by Veronica Roth. This is the third and final book in the Divergent trilogy, one of my favorite series of all time. I love the trilogy. And this is the third and final book, and I've heard mixed reviews about it. If you guys have read it, please don't spoil me in the comments because I, of course, have not read it. Uh, but I know there's a major plot twist at the very end. I'm not sure what it is, but we'll find out. I'm pretty excited to see how it wraps up. The next book was sent to me for review by the author, and that book is Focusing Emptiness by Michael P. Steeples. This is a non-fiction book, but it's, I guess it's told me, kind of t told in a way that it could be fiction, which is really interesting. It's pretty short, too. It's not that long. 
So this is probably be a quick and easy read, and I'm really looking forward to it. And thank you again to the author for sending me a copy of this book. The next two books, you guys are probably wondering why I still have not read them, and both of them have been on my TBR for months, and both of those are A Court of Thorns and Roses and A Court of Mist and Theory, both by Sarah J. Maas. The third book in this series comes out next month, so I'm just dying to read this. I need to read it right now. I just, I love the covers. I know the first book is a Be uh, Beauty and the Beast retelling, and the second bo book, I think, is a Hades and Persephone retelling, which is two of my favorite things in the world, and I am so excited to finally read them. Hopefully I'll pick them up soon so I can finally read the third book because it looks amazing. So, yeah. And the last book I have on my TBR for this month is a nice contemporary read. Probably going to be a really quick read for me this year. And it's very popular here on BookTube. And that book is 13 Reasons Why by G. Asher. This book uh, was recently just turned into a TV show on Netflix, which I heard great things about the Netflix show so far. So I just, and I also really love this cover. This was given to me by my best friend. And I am so excited to read this. I think I probably will cry a lot while reading this. I know it's supposed to be really depressing, but I'm sure I'll re enjoy it in the end. So that's all I would have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have all my social media links linked down below. If you guys are interested in following me on any of my social media, I have Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads. I'll also link my uh, video where I talk about my experience when I met Jerry up and link down below. I also have my blog link down below if you are interested in reading any reviews that I have yet to post here on the channel. They are on there. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you on Wednesday for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!